Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome, my name is Meg, this is Vlogmas, and today I'm showing you how to make a pumpkin spice latte at home. Let's get started with the ingredients for this. You're going to be using one fourth cup of pumpkin, and make sure it's pure pumpkin and not pumpkin pie. Then you are going to need three fourths of a cup of brown sugar. I just happen to have dark brown sugar on hand and I just prefer it for some reason. <laughs> We're using two teaspoons of pumpkin spice, pumpkin pie spice. And lastly, you're going to be adding three fourths of a cup of water and combining this all into the pot. If you don't have pumpkin pie spice, the ingredients of it is just cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and allspice. So those are some alternatives. And one thing that I found is that the more of the canned pumpkin that you add to this, the thicker it's going to be and the harder it is to get it through the strainer. So I noticed consistency wise, sticking to a fourth cup of the pumpkin seems to work out really great. Once you have all those combined together, you're going to stir them together and then put the heat onto high until it starts to boil. One thing to note, since we're only using a quarter cup of the canned pumpkin and that's so much of it left, it will hold up to two weeks in the fridge. So I just take a little bit of foil on top, write down whatever date from two weeks from now is and stick it on there so I know when to toss it out. Or if I'm going to be making something, I know when I have to make it by. And it's the same for this syrup. This syrup will hold up for about two weeks if you keep it in the refrigerator. Once you have reached a boil, you want to lower to a simmer and set a timer between five to seven minutes. And this is personal preference. I think I normally just do six and a half minutes and call it a day. I just stir every now and then throughout to make sure that everything is being dissolved and mixed together with the powders that we put in and like the sugar. And this is what it should look like a nice, slow, beautiful boil. And you can see how much it has reduced over the five to six minutes. This part you technically don't have to do. I prefer to do it to get any bigger chunks of like the granulated sugar that didn't exactly dissolve out. I like to use a strainer. This is just like a cocktail strainer that I have. And then I pour it back into the measuring cup that I use for water. And I noticed that using my whisk and just kind of like rigorous, rigorously stirring this really helps to get it through a lot quicker. This is the most tedious and time consuming part of this process, but to me, it's worth it to have a nice and smooth syrup. This made a little bit more than three fourths of a cup. And I always get asked about the jars that I use. I was like, oh no, I need to show them how much it made <laughs> in case anyone was curious. So it made almost a full cup of syrup. And I always get asked about the jars and the containers that I use. I like going to Michael's and finding unique uh, jars specifically for coffee syrups. And that's exactly where I got this one from. I got it from there last fall. And it has a cork that fits very well on there. So what I do is just r wipe the inner rim before I put the cork on it. And that's how you can kind of keep it clean. And that's our syrup. So now I'm going to show you how I build my own version of a pumpkin spice latte at home. My drink is a mix of cold brew and kind of like a latte. Um, so I use cold brew, vanilla syrup. I have oat milk, some caramel syrup, and then of course our pumpkin spice syrup. So to start off, I just have to drizzle around the cup. You just have to, right? <laughs> um, so the hint of caramel is nice to add to this drink. And I fill it just about halfway with ice. And I do a very heavy pour of cold brew. I leave just enough room at the top for my frothed milk. And here, my vanilla syrup is a little bit clogged up. So it looks like I put a lot in there, but it was barely a pump's worth because I don't like it too, too sweet. I find that vanilla syrups particularly to be a little overpowering. So I like to shake it together, a little shake and espresso moment. And here I'm adding my oat milk and my pumpkin spice syrup to froth together. And that's how I like to incorporate the pumpkin spice syrup into the drink. I think it's the best and easiest way because it really gets 
mixed in and emulsified really, really well with the oat milk instead of just dumping it into the cold brew and kind of shaking it. So here is the satisfying part of coffee videos. You'll have to let me know what is your favorite syrup that you've been making for your at-home coffee in the comments. And to top off, I like to set a positive intention or affirmation. So what I do is I take my caramel syrup and I draw a little pentacle and I seal it with a circle and that's how I set my intention to start my day off. And because I'm using a straw to drink this, I shake it all up again because I want it to be mixed together. Um, so yeah, you'll have to let me know what syrups do you like to add to your coffee. So as always, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next day's Vlogmas. Thank you for your time and energy, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Cheers.